Okay, we are recording here. This will only take about 10 minutes. I'm going to point out this is for anyone who knows that they can work with their hands a little quicker than they can with CAD. Uh, specifically civil students who are going to get topo, renewable students, anyone who in fact knows that they can kind of put some straight lines on paper and get most of their ideas thought out but then want to pull that into 2D or 3D. So we're using a program here called Raster. Um, we'll talk about the difference between Raster and Vector. AutoCAD is a vector engine. Raster are things like JPEGs, pictures, bitmaps, lots of stuff like that. So. We're going to do it really quickly here, but what I've done coming into this is I have scanned an image. If you're smart, you'll have put something on that image that is to scale in both the X and the Y directions. And then now we're going to go about, I'm not going to play around with changing the color. Uh, you're going to probably want to go into the raster engine just to do this conversion. We'll talk more and more over the next semester about more things you can do with images and uh, for finish. But for now, we're just going to go to here. Uh, click on that image um, ribbon here and we're going to import a or insert an image and the image will be probably a JPEG there's a lot of them out there I'm going out I did not map my K drive bad for me but I can remember all of us that it's actually the students read write delete directory that we're going to to civil tech and then I think I put it down here I put it in something called saw so those of you who might remember this it's Halloween week um, it's an image file you start coming through here you might know the scale you don't necessarily have to know the scale it's a good idea to know the scale you hit next you say hit finish and you bring it in and you've got something there that actually now is an image and you see this image here now is it's a color, probably a couple color image, and the key to using this raster to vector, or ve uh, I'm sorry, raster to vector, is that you need a bitonal image, bitonal, which means it's either on or off. You can realize if you work in different colors that are on different parts of the spectrum, you can actually use filters to have a series of bitonal images. I think anyone who's worked in the print shop might be able to explain how that works. But what we, our next step is, if we can get this thing to the scale, it's a great idea, but I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to click on it and process the image with a histogram. Okay, so I'm going to escape out here. I'm going to process image to the histogram here, and I'm going to select the entire image. And it's going to now, you want to go to threshold here. And what you're going to do is you're going to play around with the threshold, right, to get it to a point where you're kind of going to be turning things into black and white. This is something you play around with. You hit apply and close, and you get something that looks something like this. All right. Now, I believe the key is going to be it's got to be the reverse. It's got to be white on black. And so we're going to have to look at process image here. Uh, clean up perhaps invert right now we've got something that looks like this and so you're gonna have to use the histogram and the invert now look at the beauty here you're gonna have a number of different followers but I'm gonna try first for the civil students this idea of following a contour line I'm gonna go to polyline follower and I'm gonna go find a point and watch what it just did it went around there I'm gonna hit you can go B for back, but I'm just going to hit enter here, finish it out, and watch what it does. It cleans that stuff up. It gets rid of the raster underneath. I'm going to try another polyline follower here. Polyline follower. I'm going to try it right. Turn these snaps off. I think it turns them out automatically. Bad juju. I'm going to go right here, click on that, and you notice how it's following around and getting most of this work done pretty amazing stuff believe it or not you might not think so but I do um, and we're gonna do a couple more here notice how it cleans it up what you'll see is it tends to have problems and so if you're smart you can pre-process your image here and kind of erase out some of these places where it's going to conflict let's try one more here polyline follower I'm gonna grab this line right there and notice how it went all the way around and cleaned it up right there so pretty scary stuff. 
let's try that's the polyline follower you can clean up this image very quickly it's coming to be Halloween we'll try one more here it might be a good idea to wash out a couple of places but we'll try this one one more time with a polyline follower and it basically makes and cleans up the image pretty quickly you can then at the same time start breaking things and putting them on layers that said let's try an arc follower you've got other primitives here we're gonna follow an arc pick one point no raster arc found so I guess that one's not working for me try it again there one that one did find a raster arc all right found that raster arc one more time an arc this essentially gets you to what would be called reverse engineering it's doing a best fit it's making an arc um, I don't know if you all all know how scary this is but it's pretty wild stuff especially if you were working follow uh, pardon my dentist work this morning if you were working off of something you had drawn relatively to scale that you can clean up um, this gets you to the point of knowing what you need to have in your briefcase or in your backpack if you're renewable or not um, I got a backpack um, a couple of triangles uh, a scale probably a calculator and some colored pencils uh, because processing different colors through that histogram is going to be something we do next but you can all of a sudden even get your layering done off of your handwork uh, that's it pretty much uh, that's the whole thing that's less than uh, for sure less than 10 minutes I'm gonna keep going here to fill finish out the 10 um, I'm gonna see a couple more things the most interesting one I think is the line one you see that hard line on the paper here well let's look for a line one we know something's a line as a primitive we can actually go to line here zoom in and it's gonna find that line and know it let's finally check the text I'm gonna be dying to know if it can actually recognize the text alright so we're gonna yeah, I want to go OCR so recognize text sure why not let's see if it's gonna recognize this I presume it's not because of the way it's laid out. It had a problem because it's turned upside down, right? But it will not have a problem if it's really well blocked in. So that's what we got. What were the steps? A, you need to scan something. The next thing you got to do is you've got to um, bring it in as a JPEG and process the image through the, the histogram and make it a bitonal right you need to make it a bitonal image you do that by going to threshold to me and hit details here so it can't do that because it's already been done you go to histogram you make it a bitonal image by taking it through the threshold you then go to clean up and invert the image so it is black on white from there you use things like polyline follower contour follower pretty much these two will do what you need to do and then primitive follower you can then put those things on layers and you are good to go this uh, software is installed on a number of the computers um, uh, Mark Patak is glad to train and have you train each other this is an important part once you go from knowing how to do vector work in AutoCAD exact uh, and then also knowing how to do things with your pans paper how we can bring these things together and go from a 2D world to a 3D world or just a better 2D world with little work. Thanks for listening. And uh, hopefully when I put this out, I'll link it out to some of the other discussion on AutoCAD regarding raster to vector. This is a very large concept, however.